loyal subjects, it's me, Princess Sword Art the Gamer Queen here, back with another reaction video, and this time, to how matter, well, to how SMG4 and Luke, <laughs> I'm sorry, Kevin made Meta Runner, but yeah, because I gotta admit, I'm pretty excited to see this, because I might actually look forward to well, you know, wanting to work with Luke on stuff if when the channel gets popular. But yeah, I'm excited to see how Meta Runner all started. Because I get it from the deleted scenes, what they were originally going for, but I definitely want to go deeper with this. But before we begin, I'm aiming for a goal of 1,000 subscribers here on the channel. As currently 80% of you who watch my videos have not subscribed yet. But, if you're new to the channel and want to see more awesome content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and join my kingdom of heroes. And also, if you're interested in supporting the channel, make sure to head over to Patreon in the description below to help, because you can definitely get a lot of awesome stuff for helping support the channel. But yeah, but without further ado, let's start the video. And, in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Okay, then. <laughs> We're doing the animation. <laughs> <laughs> Tari Masa, let so it happen in 2021, please. The entire journey of how we actually make Meta Runner. We've there's there's a lot of uh, crazy. Because I gotta admit, Glitch Productions would definitely be draw. one of the most awesomest places I would want to work at. Show you guys inside Glitch Productions, inside our company on how we make these episodes. Oh um, my so god! Really it looks so amazing! Look into Luke and my life and uh, exactly what we do here. Now, if you don't know what Meta Runner is, it's a story that follows a girl named Tari. Yeah, she is. She has a I know the whole story from really start really to fast. finish. <laughs> well, from the beginning of season one to the end of season two, but still. Luke, I think it's blue collared uh, bad guy. White collar. White collar. Blue collar is the opposite of okay, blue white collar blondie man named Black. <laughs> he wants Tari's ass and he goes after her. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's not You were using that. Ew! So two, but still, very uh, true of my description. Because it's like. Now, yeah, definitely, Lux wants so her to be his run, girlfriend. Um, and let's see but yeah. Let's go. Awesome! Everything started in my bedroom. Uh, oh my god, yeah, I remember this. Because basically, he um, was in his house I mean, first 20, doing this. Because... That's when I got a million subs. That's when my brother came in. Because I think it was around gonna, 2014 go or 2015 he did that one special but where Mario well, in real life. But yeah, I really like that. Because it really showed a turnaround to what he usually did. And especially the sequel was amazing. I think Mario if Mario is in real life monster mashup, the video was called. Because I gotta admit, I'm a huge fan of SMG4. Because I think he would really appreciate me on his team. Because, trust me, I've remembered a lot of what's happened over the course of the entire series. Because he would be amazed with my knowledge. So, uh, I got hired, uh, back when I, it was tw end of 2017, I believe, um, and yeah, Kevin and Luke were like, do you want to come down to Sydney? Around 2018, we actually moved Please ask me to work for you, uh, SMG4! Please! Start, started to hire people, um, and they came in, they were like, why are we working in a house? It was strange rocking up at your house for the first day. I'm we working on my college house degrees, house but still! House. And then we had all of the, uh, the computers and whatnot in the back room, and so there was about... Four of us at that stage, I think. Where he oh my house, god, house. I remember the house oh, tour. We had two houses, we had our parents' house. That's the one Gary was in. Because I also he remember, he actually has he some framed photos he from some of right his now. episodes. <laughs> so my name is... I think there was Wild Wild I'm Mario, Cuphead... Art director, mocap artist, character designer... Uh, there were a few others I can't remember. It's been a uh, little bit since and, I've and seen the photos minutes, in the house, but others, yeah. Their, uh, team sitting out the back in this little area. Because I gotta admit, Glitch Productions, definitely a studio I want to work at, but... Well, this is it. This is our old house slash old office. 
I'm kind of far away from where SMG4 is. But yeah. Oh my god! It's amazing! Because I mean, it, will, it probably wasn't that amazing in the beginning, but it's amazing to see how it all started. Metarunner basically was conceptualized by our little sister. She just drew oh, yeah, yeah. Coming up with characters. Because I remember how they mentioned how they made Tari. In that one video. Yeah, because that's the original design, but they were just showing more drawings on how she was really made. Because I gotta admit, I'm excited for their upcoming series, Sunset Paradise and the one with Maggie. Because I'm like, please have a poster for those series. I must add it to my poster collection. Well, I remember when I first started at Glitch, the idea was that we were going to have, what was it, 10 minute episodes with one animator over three or four weeks, I think it was. Huh. Um, well, that was impossible. Right. You know, what is it? Because it had to be switched up. Four weeks, four to weeks, have four more animators, animators to four make animators. it really amazing. And yeah, so there's the full time animators, and then there's. You know, the I can't wait to see if Ultra Jump Mania is going to continue in 2021. Because yeah, it's, it's, it's like, come on, SMG4. We Even though Meta Runner was slow in the beginning, Ultra Jump Mania is weeks, minutes, just so slow. But hit. make more episodes. Honestly, we use really bizarre methods. We try to achieve things oh here my that God. other companies don't entirely it's do. It's beautiful. We look for ways around things. We look for the, the the faster solution, whilst also creating a product that's as good, if not better, than other uh, studios out there, which is amazing to see. Uh, just every day, we're trying to push the technology to make really really cool stuff that the internet uh, can enjoy. And like, basically, we we want to be an anime company. We want to be an anime company. That's what we want. For the Western audience. Yeah. I love anime. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the voice of Theo! Um, and yes, I knew it was a girl. And uh, I am the voice of Theo, and I'm also a staff writer for SMG4 Glitch Production. Uh, Glitch. Oh my god. I blame everything She's on even me. a staff writer? Uh, David is the, uh, David is the voice Ew. of Ew. Uh, I gotta David admit, that's like, just what made it official that Lux was going dog. after Tari. Thanks. To make anything, anything that, like, for his girl girlfriend. Something like fan arty or fan dubbing. I'm just like, okay, whatever, I'll do this for you. And then I go into the studio like, oh, it's actually legit. <laughs> wow. This is, this is actually They chose cool. the perfect voice for <laughs> Theo. <laughs> what we're making is... is oh my god, it's amazing. It being able to make. And seeing the team grow as well is, is amazing. Like, it's incredible to see what we can actually, what we can do. Kevin wanted to buy a statue of... Wait a minute, he, he wanted to buy, to buy a, a statue. statue of Tari and as well as some other decorations, including an arcade. Oh my god, that would be statue. very awesome. Because no. um, come on, with how big uh, Glitch Productions is getting, of script, course it would be amazing. The, world, the characters, storylines, you know, what things look like, talk to concept artists. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't like Evelyn that much because, you know, I, uh, she's kind of selfish, but still. Uh, oh, this is Lamar, and it'll have like two pictures of Terry Crews or someone and be like, here you go. And then that ends up getting made into a model sheet, which is goes off of. Oh my god, Lamar's outfits, Tari's. So I love the updated I mean, look um, of Tari's hoodie. 3D. Start with a cube or a sphere, and I do things. I pull things out of it and make it, and then it comes out looking kind of cool. Uh, oh my god! Anime She's anime wearing a top hat. Big titty anime girl for Glitch Productions. Yeah, it's pretty sick, bro. To everything that you see. Written oh my god, Melanie! We just had something to do with it. Rigging is essentially. I actually hear that Melanie was supposed to be in that one episode where it involved Boogans and Wimpu. Basically, you know, learning about the donating, well, 
the anime girls and Nathaniel Bendy being involved. That was a dumbass. But yeah, what? We get the wigs from Come the on! Um, and then we animate the characters and make them move, make them talk, and give them some life. Basically, it's my job to go around and quality assure uh, everyone. Because I still them. wonder one so thing: go in, make sure that how did they capture the Evelyn's the true form, form from being really adorable and on I'm the outside to being really, really ugly on the inside? Because <laughs> that's the one thing I wonder. <laughs> Beyond that, I also do motion capture, which is basically where we strap a bunch of sensors to our body and we move around and act. We act out <gasps> characters, oh. make them talk to the computer, and we animate from there. Look, working at Glitch is like working SMG at SMG um, Four. Facebook. Please let me work for your company. I've always been a big fan. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's fun. And I would I love it. to work than my other for you. I've had. It's really creatively fulfilling. Um, no two days are exactly the same, which is something I really, really appreciate. Um, like writing Even I like next, something be, like, different. Forming, uh, characters. Uh, the next, I'll be overseeing the concept artist on like what the designs of the environment should be like. Because I gotta admit, and me and the guys are always yeah. doing something pretty different, but still. Challenges that popped up, and it's really good to work with these guys because you get to learn even more from them. Wow. The company, so like. There is quite a lot of learning and responsibility on each individual person in the company. As an artist, you gotta you gotta go with the punches. You gotta. I would get love to be able. Because I know he's in Australia, but still, I would actually love to help SMG4 set up some other glitch productions divisions around the world and other kingdoms. But yeah. Last year, when we were about to film episode ten. I said I was gonna go snowboarding. I did something stupid and managed to hit a tree going extremely fast and I broke my arm in two Oh months. my god! The entire of episode 10 is me motion capture acting with an arm that was broken in two places. Matt, who's doing the mocap for any sort of for action scenes, he can't actually do flips and bounce off walls and stuff like that, which is what happens in the show. So we have to like get that, interpret oh. what's been done and just really manipulate it to make it look like it does look better. When COVID hit, like, we ended up having to work from home for about three months or so. Uh, we had to put a whole heap of infrastructure in place to make sure all the people could still do what they needed to do. That was a real, like, kind of wake up call for all of our skills to come together. Like, we actually had to just really go to town on our work in a situation that wasn't normal and everyone had to pull their weight. And so that, I thought actually that was kind of brought the team together in, in my opinion. Because I would definitely be helping out. To get us back in that. Because you know, I'm pretty creative on stuff and everything. Uh, we all posted our home workspaces. And you have like, you know, not to shoot my own horn or anything, but like the really neat ones with, you know, all nice and set up. And then you have the people who would just post memes of like <laughs> piles of sins and V and so. Oh my like God. Zero Magic and Head Writer. It was. That's pretty amazing. While at the same time, trying to buy an office. So, like, trying to move a like 15 person company over to a brand new office with renovations and furniture, as well <laughs> as trying to write an entire season. Oh my god. That is pretty uh, funny. Was a pretty tough couple months. Yeah, yeah. So the my office. Apart from the seasons would definitely be the fight between Lux and, uh, and Martha in episode 10, Woo! season 2. Just because it was a I gotta admit, it was amazing how Masa really yeah, did get some revenge for, well, Lux technically yeah. killing his old I arm, but still, it's kind of sad that Dr. Sheridan uh, made Masa shoot Lux. Because sure I'm, I'm hoping in season 10 they find really find they out that Sheridan was really I responsible like for what happened. Because I gotta admit, my heart broke knowing that him and Tari were gonna be separated again. Because I would love to work on Meta Runner season 3. Because SMG4, please accept my idea for Tari X Masa in season 3. With the scene knowing, with Tari knowing that, well, a lot of big twists and turns. I would love to see a scene uh, where, a in the beginning, it's Tari reflecting back on what happened, um, in her knowing that like Masa that is isn't a monster. Uh, my character is, and this is no bias at all. Because one thing, Evelyn, we all know he wasn't gonna pull the trigger. <laughs> Evelyn, yeah. Probably. She Evelyn. is it's just a, of, a like, a very mean person. Like That's the point. Because uh, she did show us that with her true form. Evelyn is a, 
Evelyn is not a person. She's a state of mind. She's a really ridiculous person inherently. So yes. Thank you. Right for her sounds natural coming out of her mouth. Come with me, Evelyn. Wait here. Aww, but I want to see the punishment. I said Ugh. wait here, Evelyn. Fine. I really felt that like coming into the second season, she was the character with the most. Like dynamic, she had a lot of. Because I gotta admit, it's gonna be shocking seeing her get Tari's powers. Because I think I think we all thought Sheridan was dead. But we should have all expected that since Lucinia was alive, we should have all expected that Sheridan would have been alive too. Because it's like the explosion was enough to. Killed them, but not nearly. Peppa Pig. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Looking back to when I first started, that first day in uh, Kevin and Luke's first office, when it was just the four of us, seeing how far it's come, especially with the second season. Ah, uh, it's been a long time. Oh my god. Like, I would love to go to Comic Con. We. I can't even begin to like remember. There's so much stuff that's happened in the past three years. I would so be able to time remember time it all for you guys, into this making matter since you're so amazing. But I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah. Aww, okay, that's like sweet. We know how to, I think, as managers, as people, as artists as well. As artists as well, we've learned a lot of things. And I look, would love to meet him in person. I really, think, I really think like Glitch has the potential to be something amazing. Mm. I'm really proud of what we've made so far. I can't believe we've made like Metarana. Because for how many adventures TV I've had, I've never really gotten to meet SMG4 in person, and like it family, just kind of upsets. Uh, like, well, because it's just like, I just want to meet him! The legend! I know! I come I on, release the Sons of Paradise trailer already! Wait, wait, say what? Make it happen. Honestly, you didn't yeah, just... I, I, I didn't okay. Uh, I'm ignore not, that. I'm not, I'm not driving this ship. I'm just helping you steer. What did Jared say to that? That's a hard question. What's next for me with Glitch is... Because just what the heck is going to be next? Like pushing myself, uh, running future projects. Maggie! Yeah! Because it's like, how many oh, other Glitch production so characters, so well, SMG4 characters, are going to get their own show? Axel, um, once the channel, Melanie uh, gets bigger and bigger, uh, you know, video games seems like a pretty cool thing that we could step into. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Already in video games. Please make an Ultra Drum Mania video yeah. game or video maybe games. Meta Runner. Because trust me, I would definitely be on board for Sit doing down. that with we them. Finish it all just like we started, man. Just like we began. Sitting down. Chilling on this couch with two brothers. Five minutes apart because we're not gay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. We hope you enjoyed the story. SMG4, you're yeah. one amazing person. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's crazy to think how you and me are literally just sitting on here playing. Oh, I, I seen that. Yeah, good to everything that you saw in this video. Yeah. Uh, we also hope you enjoyed. Because I'm hoping one day their sister yeah, can be you, with uh, them doing that and everything. Uh, because she deserves to be a part of Glitch Productions well, since she yeah, helps make it's Meta Runner. Woohoo! I've been supporting you guys a lot. I already got it! Uh, Merry Christmas and, uh, to you guys, you even though it's past that, and, uh, and New Year's. Yep. But yeah, see you guys. What the heck is that? What's that? Do a meme! Yes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys are amazing. But okay. But yeah, that was it. And I admit, I liked reacting to this because, you know, I like looking towards the future. Especially with my whole career and stuff. 
and channel. But Glitch Productions is definitely a company I would want to work at. Because I would definitely want to share my ideas. Because they seem pretty cool. But yeah. This Glitch Productions, definitely one heck of a fun company to work at. But sadly, this is where we're going to have to end the video. But if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Smash the subscribe button for more content in the future just like this. And click that notification bell for my latest videos and updates. And make sure to head over to Patreon to help support my college classes to help me continue the channel. But yeah, I'm Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen and I'm signing off. Bye!